Hey everybody, welcome back to Minor Stuff. I'm Matt. I'm Pat. We're, we're the Minor, Minor Brothers. Brothers. Today we're going over our, our store haul for the month of October. Let's get into it. All right, welcome back everybody. Before we get started, please subscribe to this channel, like this video, let us know in the comments down below, what did you get for the month of October for your store hauls? Um, everybody gets something special right now. It's allocated season. We had an amazing month. Oh, yeah, we Hang around to the end of this video as well because we're gonna let you know how you can win this rocks glass um, as well with our little logo on that. Yeah. Um, um, besides, and before we actually get into all that stuff too, um, the Rocks Glass, we're going to have some merch coming out pretty soon. Um, this one's the custom etched miter stuff, uh, basic man shit one. Yep. Um, but you can also get some of these types of things uh, when you join our Patreon page. Okay. So there's a link down below. That's the Kenzie Glass. Um, but yeah, so if you want more content, uh, we're going over a lot of other cool stuff too that we can't cover on YouTube. We're doing it all over there, so feel free to check us out over on Patreon. The link's down below. Um, all right, Pat. So today, um, what are we, we drinking while we go over our store hall, Matt? A little bit of Rebel Ten Year, and this is obviously a hundred proof. Um, just actually busted this thing open because it's been sitting on our shelf for a while, and we just haven't yet. So this one's a single barrel, um, and it's actually pretty delicious. Oh, it's good stuff. Uh, and so we'll go over some of the stuff that we have been drinking. Killed out a bottle of Handy and Schiller. That was a that was a good couple days right there. Yep. Um, so good. And then we have Old Granddad 114. You know, I really wish we could find this in our area more often, Matt. Yeah, it's, it's... it's We have to order it offline in order to get it up here in New Hampshire, but it is freaking fantastic. And for the price of it, like, this should be in everybody's bar. Yeah. Period. 100% should be. All right. And the last one that we finished off... You finished off. I finished off because we got them, and... As soon as we got them, you know what I do? I drink them. Uh, good old old Forester single barrel barrel strength. This is one that we ended up getting five of these things, and we're down to four. But this thing was so good. I, I one of my favorite bottles, absolutely hands down, is that. It's just it's an amazing bottle. Yep, he does love it. All right, Pat. So that's what we went through. Let's see what we got this month. It was a great month, dude. Yeah, it was. All right, first here we're starting off with Cream of Kentucky. Bottled in Bond. Dude, I am super, super psyched about this one. This is the uh, straight rye, um, but just, we like the other cream of Kentuckys. Those were good. Yeah. So when I saw this bottle, especially at 60 something dollars, I was like, you can't really not get it. It's fall time, so it's rye season anyway. So, I mean, come on. Don't and we're both trying to drink more rye, too. We're trying to try more stuff. Oh, definitely. All right, a little bit of uh, Bullet Bourbon Barrel Strength. That's a hard one to find. This one, yeah, it's actually slowly started popping up more around here. Some places were like $62. This one I found for $49.99. And at $49.99, I'm going to buy this all day long. I'm actually going to go buy a second one because this one's what? 120.2 proof. I like Bullet Bourbon. I like Bullet Rye for Old Fashioned. Oh, my God. <laughs> that is the best Absolutely old Absolutely the ever. best Old Fashioned we've had. But this bullet, it, it's just, I don't know, it's a good bourbon. And I just always liked it at higher strength. And now that I found it at 120 proof, sign me up. Yeah, definitely some good stuff. All right, this next one here, I'm not familiar with. It's a red wheat bourbon. Yeah, I have no idea about this at all. This is just part of the bourbon club that I'm in. Um, and they sent it to us. It's a little 375, but it's a store pick. What's it coming at? Um, 100 and... Oh, not even that big. It's 104 proof. Um, so, not huge on the proof, but, you know, it's still going to be, yeah, hopefully pretty good. I've never had red meat, so try it up. Um, we got a baby buffalo trace. I mean, we didn't, <laughs> we didn't need to buy it. It's just sitting on the shelf like that looks so cute. We're like, I kind of got I was going to say, it. like, how can you not want <laughs> just a little baby thing just because? Yeah. So, yeah. And you know what? It's Buffalo Trace. We are going to drink the crap out of this. 100%. All right. So we got, uh, let's see, Starlight Distillery's Cigar Batch. Yeah, I was super, super psyched to get this one. And this one also has the uh, the little Top Gun sticker on the back from the store pick. Uh, the stickers. You know they can't the see it when you spin it like that from so far away. Mm. Matt, put the B-roll in. 
be okay. rolling. Okay. Yeah. Um, this bottle though, it looks pretty cool, and I we're, we're a big fan of like the cigar blend. Yep. So any of these types of ones that try to pair with cigars or do any of that type of stuff, we're always like right on top of trying, because I mean, often what do we do? We'll have a cigar and a bourbon. It's just it's a great time. Mm -hmm. So let's see how this thing pairs. I'm pretty excited. Starlight's a great finished bourbon, anyways. Um, so this one, 110.4 proof. It's only aged four years though. That's that's my one worry. It's not not very old. All bourbon. right. So next we got Blue Run. So this is going to be the cast strength rye. Yeah. And, and to go with it, we have the uh, reflection number one. Now, if you wanted to be come uh, follow us on Patreon, we did a review on this. Found out it was absolutely amazing, but you should go follow us over on the Patreon, and you can definitely check that video this out one, with a whole lot more. I think shocked us with the flavor on this one. It wasn't what we were expecting, but we still liked it a lot. You know, I've heard some other channels kind of shit on Blue Run, and I was like, uh... I think it's I, one of those things, people either was, love it or they hate it. Yeah, I was worried about it, but it surprised me. And then we had the cast strength. Yeah, which you wouldn't, wouldn't share. Which was even better. Yeah. You still got some. I got a sip. I got a freaking sip. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so these ones were great. I found this one, and then as soon as this one popped up that it was available, I bought it right away. Uh, just because I've heard a lot of good things about Blue Run. And like I said, it threw us for a little bit of a surprise in the flavors. It wasn't what we were expecting as the normal yeah. bourbon notes. Um, but it was actually, it was really a, a pleasant drink. Mm -hmm. All right, a little bit of McAllen 15 year. So, yeah. You know, everybody knows the Scotch whiskey. I'm surprised you went I, Scotch. I'm not a big Scotch person. I'm going to try to get into Scotch. Um, I'm a very big bourbon person, hence all the bourbon. And I think I have one bottle of Scotch, and it was very, very peaty, very smoky, and it was not my jam. So I was like, you know what? I might as well try this. They had the 12 year and the 15 year, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go with the 15 year. See what happens. This is the double cast. You know, just hopefully it's good. Um, I don't know. I just gotta get my palate to it. So, so here's just a couple. We ended up pulling four of these suckers out this month. Um, yeah. Your your clear favorite Old Forester product. Single barrel barrel proofs, yep. yep. And then, uh, yeah, I, I was going to go back and just get, we were going to try to get two more. We didn't have a chance to go back with him to get more. Because one per person was the downside. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, so I ended up getting that other one, too, and just finishing it off. Because you know what? They're great. They are absolutely phenomenal stuff. They're, this is, what, 124.5 proof. So... I, I love it. There's the, the flavors in these are great. You do get the, the bananas and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, I do also get a little bit of cherries out of these ones. Um, but they're just... I, I think it's got good flavor. It's a little warm for me. I'm not at that proof level yet, but um, it, they right. the flavor is definitely amazing. I absolutely levels. love these things. And All I right. buy them every time I see them. So we have a uh, 1792 Old Fashioned... Yeah, so Next, we got which... another pre-made old-fashioned sh uh, show coming up, mm -hmm. um, and we were just like, hey, we saw this one, and I've never seen the 1792 version, and I, I've been trying every single one of them. If I see a pre-made, even if we see Serps, yeah. we buy every single one we see because we just want to see what the best one is. Obviously, right now, Handy and Schiller has by far been the winner. Oh, yeah. Um, except for if we put the... Bullet with the old, with the Elijah, Elijah Craig, Craig syrup, syrup with the bullet rye, rye, it might take Handy and Schiller down because oh, yeah. that one was phenomenal. That was um, absolutely amazing. But yeah, so I've never seen 1792's Old Fashioned before, so we saw it. I had to buy it right away. It's yep. just a little guy, but um, it's only 70 proof too. Which I mean, normally a lot of these pre-made ones are 70 to 80s, but a lot of them have been mostly 80s. So hopefully, it's not a letdown. Remus number six. Yes. I've been looking forward to this one since five. Love, we both love five. Got Absolutely. A spare love bottle five. of five because yep. it was so good. So hopefully six can match. I was going to say, we just started seeing a whole bunch of uh, YouTube channels be doing the reviews on this. It's not living up to the hy hype of five, which this thing is not nearly aged as much as five was. Um, so I was expecting it to not be as great. However, we got it for a hundred bucks. So, Greg down in Massachusetts hooked us up huge. Greg, 
Thank you so much for this. Because um, we haven't found it up here. No. E- even all the North Shore places that we go to in Massachusetts, none, this hasn't hit the shelf anywhere yet. Nope. Uh, he went on a big hunting thing through through Southern Mass and, the, and Rhode Island. He found it, hit me right up, was like, hey, I found this. I was like, please, thank you so much. Should we go over the other stuff he hooked us up with, Matt? Uh, yeah, let's go up with the next one, too. Let's, this one as well, right? Yep. We have Michter's Toasted Barrel, the Sour Mash. So, another huge one that we've been looking for for a long time. Yeah. And, Just, and I was going to say, so normally you, you always get to see the Toasted Barrels out there, but to see the Sour Mash released again finally, yeah. um, it, it's, it's a no-brainer to try to get one of these things. And uh, I'm definitely looking forward to trying this one out. And then the biggest one that he came through with, Thomas Handy. Yeah. I, am I mean, like, pff, dude, as soon as he sent me that this thing, I was like, yes. Like, yes. There's no question about anything other than yes. Yeah. Uh, 100%. And and I was super excited about this. Uh, this one, he had actually ended up having, we ended up doing a little trade for a little bit of cash and a, and a Weller 12, um, which is fine for me because we had a plenty of amounts of Weller 12 up there. And I'm Never even seen one of these in person before. I know. Uh, and this one comes in at, what, 129.5 proof. So I am super, super, super excited to try this one. We're going to crack this super one. Super hookup. We have the greatest followers. Dude, dude. the I best. Mean. Absolutely. And then you know what? I was meeting Greg. Um, we are meeting down in actually in Woburn, Mass. And there's a whole bunch of stores right outside of Woburn. I usually hit up like Redstone. My favorite place to go to. Um, but then there's a lot of Total Wines down there. Mm-hmm. He hit up Total Wine. He's like, hey, by the way, they got Weller 107 here. Um, and they also have Cigar Blend. So what we've got, Joseph Magnus Cigar Blend, our, like, number one unicorn out there. Um, he ended up getting, they only allowed one per purchase in the entire cabinet. Because they also had the wire, uh, turkey, Wild Turkey Master's Keep. Yep. Um, they had a whole bunch of stuff in the cabinet. But you only allowed one bottle. He ended up going with the 107. We got this, the only bottle of Cigar Blend, and I am super excited. This one is, what, batch 122? Mm. Yeah, batch 122 coming in at, what, 115.8 proof, something like that. So yeah. so you you came home with the Remus, the Cigar Blend, the Toasted Sour Mash, and the Thomas Handy, and... I don't think you can get a better damn trip. I, I don't than think that. so at all. Like he he's been my little my little lucky person I, in the world. Right? Absolutely cannot From think of enough. From here on out, we're never gonna match this again. I was gonna say I don't know if we'll ever get a, a store haul this epic ever again. No. No. Um, but this has been a absolutely great month for us. Let us know down in the comments. What did you guys grab in the month of October? Obviously this is this the comments, month. don't forget the glass. Yeah, and we're going to be doing that for the rocks glass. All right, so we're going to do hashtag store hall. Yeah. Hashtag store hall. And next Friday's video, we will end up uh, picking a winner uh, for that in the comments down below. So you got to be, you know, like this video, so be a subscriber to us, and then put in your comment hashtag store hall. And um, let us know down below what you got. We'll end up sending you guys one of these things. Everybody who's had one so far has absolutely love these things. I love them. They're a great little glass. Yeah. It looks cool. So, And it's great to drink bourbon out of. All right, everybody. We have more content over on Patreon. Don't forget to follow us over there if you want to. Um, we're having a lot more stuff. Just besides bourbon, we're still doing cooking, doing cigars. We're doing guns. We're doing man shit. We're doing everything like there's nothing off limits on the other side yeah. over there we just need time to keep getting content to go up That's yeah it. it's, i was gonna say it's almost a full-time job right now trying to just film between youtube and there um all the stuff but we're thankful because this is like this is all the stuff we love and we're just bringing all of our stuff that we love to you guys out there um so anyways follow us along for more stuff thank you guys have a good one